Now time to light another fire before we explore the old mall. Old mall away. Achoo! I hope I'm not getting sick. We are coughing a lot during these intermissions. Hi, Chicken Man again. It appears we have a special bond, you and I. Quite apparently, Chicken Man. I don't need anything from you right now, though, but thank you for at least coming. I shall see you again! Yep, see you again. At least that confirms your goodbye was a see you again comment. Yeah, we don't even need to save. I just want to light this place up just because. Okay. won't budge. Okay, how about this one? Will this one budge? It might open. Is there any other doors around here that might or might not open? Nope, that's the only one. Yeah, what does that say? Oh, it looks so cool. Got more icons, like, yep. This door, however, though, looks very blocked. What, what? Abs already station map. We probably can't take that, yeah. but it'd be nice if we could. Uh, I guess... You are here, so we are here. This path seems like it's the path that we're supposed to be going on, so... I guess it's the path we're going on. Ha! Huh. Here we go, this is the long path that was on the side of the map. Two paths. Again. I'll take this way first. Two dogs. Oh, fuck me. I think he'd attack me. He got Mr. Yeah. There's something down here, which I guess is what we were fighting for to come through here. What do we fight for? You got a mystery item. A lot of those popping up, aren't there? There was the two mystery items. There doesn't seem any doors through here, though, so that was just a mystery item path. Signs. And another split in the path. I guess we'll take the split again. I figured as much. Fuck me in the hell if you can Yeah, mystery item. Was there any point to coming down here this time? Looking around the floor? No, there was not. This is just me to attack dogs and get a mystery item. Alright, so before we continue, I got I picked up several mystery items since we came through here, so might as well just go back to the fireplace and find out what they are. Because or else they're gonna be taking up pocket space. Not to mention I can heal anyway, because I got hit by a few dogs, so might as well not waste my healing items, just take the fire, right? Right, so it seems like a win-win to me. Maybe I'll sit down. That was a new flying phrase he even said. Please don't check Hey, out. is this? What's, what would you find? Old instant lunch. Okay, we got a new healing item. Heal plus 120. Vacuum sealed. The instant lunch is probably stale until e it's probably stale, though still edible. Nobody blame you for being a little nervous about eating it. And okay, another one. Old instant lunch. Yeah, we just got one. Next. And a cell phone? I guess it's a memory. Let's read it. Oops, it's already recording. Okay. Um I'm on my way out to say goodbye to this world. I might not make it very far, but even if I only make it one step, so long as time permits me, I want to see this world with my own two eyes. I want to leave proof here that I existed in the world. So, if there's anybody listening to this, please remember me. Remember that I was alive. Dang, that was pretty gloomy. I 
should have left it on a more positive note. Ugh, I'm almost out of time. Okay. So I guess people were aware the end of the world was coming. But why were they aware of it? And she seems pretty laid back, all things considered, saying, Oh, you know what? <laughs> it's just like we're almost all dead. Yeah, you know, things happen. Shit shit goes down. We'll be fine. I'm gonna put the healing items away for now inside my briefcase, just because I don't need them right now. I'd probably be happy I have them later in the game. But all things considered, they're pretty mellow about the world ending. Well, at least the girl on the cell phone was. The other one was kind of sad. That was a little bit depressing as well. She just wanted to be remembered before they went to the next world, seeing the world with their own two eyes. Maybe everyone transitioned to... A, I don't know. I guess I'll get more clues to pieces all together as things continue. But let's see. So this is the right way to go. We'll continue through the old mall. Alright, and this time we don't need to take the first two turns because we already took them. And they're guarded by dogs. So we finally take the final turn. Probably more dogs though. Oh nope, just an exit and a cutscene. Please hurry. I am nearing the limit of my functional capacity. Functional capacity? For now. For now I am alright. Now hurry. Okay. Probably like battery recharge. She probably hasn't recharged her batteries in how long? Hey, look, it's a coffee shop. Coffee or coffee tea. That's just a corner. Silly me. Okay. It might open. What was this old key? Oh. You know what? I don't actually need to fight you guys. <laughs> Light this fire. I needed that. So there's a shop owner as well. Hey, could this be? Let's find out what we got? Fluorite. Press A. Cash in. That's one of those steals. Five hundred yen. Another fluorite. More money. Oh, he wasn't here. That's a shame. Well, I'll switch over to my stronger but still rather weak stick, and I'll put this broken stick. You can't put broken weapons in the briefcase. Okay, well, broken stick, you're gone. 
discard the item. Yes. Wait, I put another bamboo stick. I'm pretty sure I bought... Didn't I buy two? No, I just think I bought another one. Let's see what I actually have in here. I think I might be crazy. Yeah, I didn't. I did buy another one of these, though. The butterfly net, but I kind of want to save those. But you know what? I'm almost out of a weapon. It's probably just good if I switch one out, just in case I need it. I like being very safe with my stuff. It's better if I just put one here, just in case I need it for the future. Okay, so we go back. Okay, save the game for now. I'll keep my broken bamboo sword for a little bit to see if I can actually manage for a while with it. And if I'll be able to, I'll be able to actually make progress. Resume. Alright. Hopefully I'm almost done with whoever I'm dealing with right now. Is that a picture of a rose and the weird person sitting on top of a rock or something? Anyways though, next room. He's looking even older. This fact this doesn't even look like a mall anymore. This looks more like a cave. Cutscene time though. That ladder ahead should return us to the surface. But it's too bad we never found that girl down here. I... I suppose I was not of much assistance to you then. What? Come on, don't say that. Really, you were a huge help. A lifesaver. Well, if you really mean that, then I am relieved. Hey... What's the matter? Warning. Battery low. Huh? Wait, what battery? Warning. Battery low. What's happening? What should I do? Warning. Battery low. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Tell me! Battery has been... Depleted. It seems that our journey together must come to an end here. I am terribly sorry. Please, forgive me. But why? <laughs> this time, please don't speak. Let me talk. You know, I always loved talking more than anything. Unfortunately, the battery I run on has become completely depleted. This will be our last conversation. If you had not come along when you did, I would have malfunctioned in that decrepit station all alone. Our time together may have been short, but I'm glad I got to spend it with you. Oh no, I have only 37 seconds left until complete termination of operation. There is still so much I wish to talk to you about. But you must let me tell you one last thing. When all is said and done, I'm glad to have met you. Seeing the dawn together, and those unusual drawings. Oh! And your name! I never asked you what your name is! Thank you. Seto. My name is Seto. <laughs> no, but 
That was a little bit sad, though. But you got PF screw. I'm actually su we're burying a grave for her? I'm surprised, to be honest. I, I thought that was going to be like our companion through the whole entire game. I had a dream that a familiar voice was calling me. As I walked along, it spoke to me, sometimes worried, sometimes happy. We watched the red sky, full of clouds, caught up in the summer wind. The little time we spent together shone brilliantly like a light in those darkened days of the past. I know that no matter how badly I wish to see you again, that can never be. Those who live must continue to live. Those who are dead will only continue to stay dead in the cold, hard earth. Uh -huh. Climb the ladder to the surface. I... I'm sad now, but I actually really liked Pia. Even if you spend half the time being jealous of me. And he buried her with a stick. I guess that's all we had. <laughs> Alright, so, ladder. I guess we're gonna continue to find that silver haired girl, and now we're all alone again. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> 